what is going on people inside the internet machine thank you for stopping by the cm retro gaming channel episode i guess this is 117 and uh sometimes you eat the bar and sometimes the bar eats you right this is this is how our day went That wasn't very glamorous, but we did manage to pick up a couple things at the uh, first thrift store of the day. I thought we were gonna have a pretty good day because we actually found some stuff at the first thrift store, which green tags were 75 cents and uh, yellow tags were half off. So we picked up, boom, Animal Crossing City Folk for the Wii. It's $4. It's missing the manual. This game really isn't worth a ton, but it's good to kind of hold on to for when uh, GameStop's doing their 60% trade-in credit. Got these for 75 cents each. Ah, two copies of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim for the 360. Both of them are complete. One of them is in like flawless condition. The other one is a little scratched up. There we go. These don't really trade in to GameStop and it looks like they sell for about 10 bucks. So I'm gonna throw them both up for five dollars each and see if anybody wants to buy them um pa, i hit this uh, store it's kind of a it's weird it's not really like a pawn shop or a thrift store it's sort of just like one of those resale stores you know and uh i saw this on the shelf their games are two dollars i was like i've never heard of that before and i pulled it off the shelf and it's a pal game it's for the ps2 it's called deadly skies 3 and it is in like minty Mac condition with the manual. I don't have a, a PAL PlayStation 2. It's something that I've been looking at trying to get, uh, but apparently this game goes for a little bit of money. It's weird trying to order stuff from PAL because it's like, oh, it's $15, but then $30 shipping. So it's like, it's kind of weird how, to, how you price stuff. You know, you don't really know how to price it, but I think I'm gonna hold on to it in case I ever run across a play, uh, uh, you know, unlocked or whatever, PlayStation 2. Might see if Emerald Game Cave from Australia wants to send me a PS2. Sup, buddy. And the last thing that I picked up, guys, from the thrift stores today, they had this at for $9.99. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project, on the Nintendo. Now, I have this complete in box, but this game's obviously like a $20, $25 game. And it's got a little thing on there that says Rattles. So there's something in there that's rattling. I think I'm gonna make that an episode of Odds and Ends. What What's rattling in my Ninja Turtles 3 cart? But guys, that's it. That's all we got. End of the episode. See you on the next one. All right, guys, we are not going out like that. So I brought all of my doubles. Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, all that stuff to Forever Games here in Pataskala. We're gonna take it in there, we're gonna trade all this in or whatever they want, and uh, we're gonna try and get ourselves a gem. So, fingers crossed. A few moments later. All right, we are back. We traded in all of our doubles. All that stuff that nobody wanted at the two trade shows, stuff I've been holding on to all summer, stuff that, was, that I posted online that nobody cared about, uh, nobody asked about. You know, my Mario Karts, my extra copies of Mario World, Donkey Kongs, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Star Wars Battlefronts, my common NES games. Nobody in, their, in our chat show or trade show cared about all Unser's Turbo Racing. Well, now you can't get it because I traded it in. But before we get to that, we did stop off at Maxine's Bargain Box in Newark, Ohio, which is one of my favorite video game stores. I love going there. They have all kinds of stuff, games, DVDs, toys, everything. But um, I saw these sitting in like a, like a little corner of the thing. They were $3 each. I got seven of these. I got them for $2 each, so 14 bucks. These are Nintendo pushback trays. 
that you would get at um, you know, like at a Myers or a video game retail store, and they would stack the games in there, you know. And this one's actually pretty cool because it opens up, it widens out for your N64 and your Super Nintendo stuff. Like I said, I got seven of these. Uh, I've got four left. I traded three of these into Forever Games. I probably would have traded them all, but I needed them for this video. So I don't know if any of you guys collect this kind of stuff. Let me know. I've got four, four left. But uh, you know, Craig Zarin, I'm like. Hey man, uh, how much you want for this game? It's complete a box. Uh, he said 70 bucks. I said, can I just have the box? And he sold me the box. Uh, that's all I need. I have the game and the manual and the insert and everything else. So we worked out a deal. So for $30, very happy to get this. We got the box for Contra. So now I have this complete. I've got the game, the manual. There's a little Konami insert that goes in there. I have that one too. But what I love about this, I felt like I had to buy it too because I dropped it on the floor. But we opened it up. And inside, look at this, somebody wrote on a note card. I'm just gonna read it, man, this is a gem. This is, I love stuff like this. It says, Contra, special tip. Everybody get your pens and pencils. To start your game with not three, but 30 Contra lives, do the following on your joystick or pad when the title screen is first displayed. Push, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, B, A, start, which is hilarious. And then this was in there. It was uh, the Konami code. So what it looks like is somebody had this and somebody couldn't remember reading it that way. So they wrote it vertical, which I think is absolutely awesome. So, all right, let's get for the, get for the, let's get to the Forever Games trade and stuff. Woo! All right, it is time. Guys, this is what I got in trade from Forever Games, which is an awesome game store. If you're in the Pataskala area, definitely check it out. Matt hooks it up. But I saw this and I knew that I had to have it. It is a Grape Nintendo 64, very nice condition. It'll go with the controller that I got from Woodbury and Retro Game Hunter. So now I've got a regular N64, the Ice Blue, the Great Purple, and the Pokemon one. So we'll start to chip away at these Fantastics one at a time. And to get it on trade, um, I think I, I spent like 35 in trade and then 35 cash. So to get one of these for 35 bucks out of pocket is a really good deal. But I'm standing there alone afraid nobody to talk to in the rare and valuable playstation 2 and gamecube aisle and i didn't know what to do i, I didn't know so i phoned a friend i called our boy tight white hey what is up everybody my name is tight white thank you thank you wow i assure you guys this is totally unnecessary thank you very much and i said hey man they've got like all these rare PlayStation 2 games. This is sort of my budget. What should I be trying to get? Try not to spend anything out of pocket. So Tight White, thank you so much for helping me through that time of need, my time of crisis. But we are adding some sick PlayStation 2 games to the collection right now. So no money out of pocket. Remember, all my doubles, you know, I get lots, so they pay for themselves. So I'll always find more copies of Mario Kart, but I won't find is a copy of Haunting Ground for the PlayStation 2. Complete, very nice condition. Absolutely over the moon to add this to the collection. Put that up there by Spider-Man. But wait, there's more. I decided I'm gonna go after one of the heaviest of heavy hitters. They had two. They had Kuon and they had this game and they were both the same price. And after talking with Tite, I kind of was like, ah, we'll go with this one. Rule of Rose, Atlas title, awesome PlayStation 2 game. Again, complete mint-like condition. Very happy to add those to the collection because those are games that I would never find and I would never pay out of pocket for. Guys, that is going to do it. Thank you for tuning in to the CM Retro Show. Tell me what you think about these games, Fantastic N64s, these really cool display shelves for NES games. Woo -hoo, look at that, like I'm a kid again. Let me know in the comments section down below and we will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves.